Welcome back. This is tutorial number three of five within The Sims 4 gardening series. Check out the annotations in the video if you want to skip ahead or rewind to another video. In The Sims 4, you're able to take a cutting of one plant and graft it into another. So if you're gardening to make money, this is really important. Plants take anywhere from 24 to 96 game hours to grow and produce its fruit, flower, herbs or spices. The game uses the base plant as the timer. So for example, carrots take approximately 24 hours to get to a full harvest. So you plant this first. You can then graft from a lemon cutting to the carrot plant, which would normally take 60 hours to produce a full harvest. Since it's using the base plant of the carrot, this timer is brought down producing lemons at the same rate as carrots. While you're grafting several different plants together, it's advised to keep this number low if you're going for money. Two different types, three at max. Each plant has the opportunity to give anywhere from 8 to 10 items per harvest. If you bombard your plant with too much variety, the chances of it producing more expensive crops reduces. When you graft one plant onto another, the plant will reappear as a sprout. The new sprout will continue to have the same level it once did. Additionally, you can only take two cuttings from a plant before you kill it, so be careful. Cuttings all get put into the one pile in your inventory, unless they're new. There's no way to really identify what cuttings are from where. Something to be mindful of when you're out getting a lot of them. Using the base plant of grapes is advisable because they are high turnover and the most efficient in regards to creating a profit. They're common appearing in the seeds bag, so they're easy to obtain and will provide the greatest profit, which is really important when you're just starting out. I have a spreadsheet available on my website. If you're interested in the details, see the links in the description. Also note, when you take a cutting from a plant that has other ones grafted on it, it will give you the base plant. As of this video, the ability to splice two plants together is rumoured to be there but bugged. If you see an annotation on the screen, it's been updated and there's a video for it, so if you want more information, click on it now. Thank you for watching the video. If the tutorial has helped you, please like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Leave a comment in the bottom if you have any questions or comments and I will see you in the next video.